So we're joined here by Cassie Jay, the director of the Red Pill. So thanks for joining us, Cassie. Thanks for having me. No worries. So I was just wondering, um, the other night there was obviously the interview that you had on the project. Um, that's gone viral on Australian social media now. Um, obviously, they were very harsh on you in the interview. Um, could you just give us a little bit of a rundown of what happened there, please? Well, it was a pre-recorded interview, and the, my entire time talking to the panelists on the project lasted at least 15 minutes long, and what aired on television was less than, than five minutes of my interview, so a lot was edited out. And in my interview that I did with them, I dispelled a lot of the misinformation about the Red Pill movie, and they completely, deliberately took out my comments, uh, correcting the lies about how the film was funded and how many people I interviewed and uh, what's the goal of this film, what's my label, am I an MRA or a feminist? Or, and I, I answered all those questions and they took them all out. And uh, you know, just a little taste of some of the things I said that they took out. I'm, I very much am for women's rights and empowering young girls, but I no longer call myself a feminist. I'm not anti-feminist or anti-women, uh, and I'm also not a men's rights activist. Uh, I told all that to the project, but they took it out. I explained how the film was funded and that uh, I did a Kickstarter campaign where no backers had any kind of influence or control over the final product of the film, and that was the only way I could raise funding while maintaining creative control over my movie. And feminists and men's rights activists and people in the middle funded my Kickstarter. They took out that entire response and instead included in their intro video to my segment saying that it was funded by MRAs as if to suggest that I was bought by some kind of organization or had an agenda, uh, uh, some kind of motivation to... Uh, sorry, <laughs> uh, as if to say it's propaganda for some kind of cause or some kind of movement, and it's not. The entire film has been my own, uh, you know, free will and choosing to make this film. And have you found the uh, found the treatment from the Australian media so far since you've been here? I, uh, well, I, I mean, I've I've just done a couple interviews since I've been in Australia, and one was actually very kind to me. It was the Steve Austin radio program, ABC, and that was good. They they let me share my piece and didn't edit it down. And obviously, the project took a different approach, and very much had a, a agenda of how they wanted to portray me. And uh, you know, I'm actually surprised that they included a clap track at the end of my segment on the project and not a boo track because it really seemed like they wanted to paint me as the enemy. And, and then after the project uh, aired on TV, I got tons of tweets from people saying, uh, you're an embarrassment, now no Australians will want to watch your film. Uh, all this other press wrote that uh, this female director from America made a gaffe on the project, a gaffe meaning she embarrassed herself and put her foot in her mouth, and, and that I made insensitive comments about the Rosie Baby story, which I had never heard heard about until that moment on the project and uh, you know so so I think they've you know really tried to spin that my time on the project was uh, that I was the one that was the the embarrassed one on on the show uh, but then a lot of commenters online on YouTube and I got some private emails of people saying that the project was the one that, that looked bad and that they embarrassed themselves with how they conducted that interview so I think it's a mixture but definitely the press is taking the approach that you know I was I was the one that fumbled and I think the people the, the Aussies on the ground are taking the approach that the project was the embarrassment. Okay now most of my viewers are Australian and I understand that the red pill is available in Australia now do you want to quickly tell us where they can go and see it. Yes, so uh, if you want to see the Red Pill movie in a theater in Australia, the best way is through fanforce.com, F-A-N force, F-O-R-C-E. And uh, if you want to see it online in the privacy of your home because you're worried of what people will think of you if you go to a theater about men's rights, uh, then there are a couple ways you can see it as an Australian online. So we are finally now on Google Play as of this week, and we are currently the best-selling documentary on Google Play in Australia. And we just released it on there two days ago. Uh, so you can watch it on Google Play online. There's also Vimeo. You can rent it or buy it on there. And Amazon Prime, that's a new release in Australia. You can watch it on Amazon Prime. All right, Cassie J, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.